Because just because you're in Iman, doesn't mean you have, don't have some darkness. That's why he doesn't say, Avulma, the darkness. He says, shades of darkness. Multiple shades of darkness. Some of you have the darkness of envy. Others have the darkness of anger. Others have the darkness of greed. Others have a, the darkness of narcissism and self-obsession. Others have the darkness of materialism. Others have the darkness of cheating and lying and stealing and multiple different kinds of darknesses within people who claim to be Muslims. Allah says, I am willing to pull you out of those darknesses. No matter what your darkness is, I'm willing to pull you out to the light, ila nur, to the light. You notice before Allah started talking that He owns everything? He owns everything. Then He talked about He guards everything. Remember that? And on top of guarding everything, He wants to protect who especially? You. He's protecting the entire universe. He's even protecting the ocean you're drowning in. He's even protecting the anchor you're holding. But He's offering you His special protection. You, but you have to admit to Allah first. Let me tell you, one of the most beautiful things I heard when I was at Hajj this year, in one of the khutub at Hajj, the Shaykh said, you know, a dua aw yawmu dua yawmu al-i'tiraf. فَقَبْلَ الدُّعَى نَحْتَاجِ He says the day of dua is the day of admission. Before you make dua, you need to admit who you are. You have to confess to Allah what your darknesses are. You, have, you know what they are, nobody else does. You know what they are, you have laziness. You don't pay attention in salat. You have filthy habits that nobody knows about. You have anger, you're hiding secrets. You've cheated someone, you've lied against, you know those, what, you know what they are. You have to admit them to Allah and then ask you to pull them out of that, pull you out of that darkness. Allah Azza wa is teaching us that all human beings start off with light. We all start off, we don't, we're not born into sin. This is not Christian creed. This is the Iman in Allah Azza wa teaches us that human beings are born in Iman. They have the potential of faith. When they don't exercise that muscle, then it goes into darkness. One of the most wise anecdotes and examples to help me understand this that one of my teachers gave, Dr. Abdul Samir, may Allah protect him, he gave this example. He said, you know when you exercise a muscle, it gets stronger. But when you don't exercise a muscle, it gets weaker. And you know if somebody's lying in bed, they're lying in bed for six months, eight months, ten months, and they don't get up, guess what? After 10 months, when they try to get up, their legs don't work. They lose it. The ability to accept guidance is a muscle Allah put inside us. If you exercise that muscle, it'll get stronger. If you don't exercise that muscle, reminder comes to you, advice comes to you, opportunity comes to you, prayer time comes to you, and you, you ignore it and you ignore it. That ability to accept guidance starts getting weaker until that muscle dies and then it doesn't matter if it's the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the greatest of all teachers and speakers speaking to you the greatest of all speech the Quran itself it won't matter because your muscle is dead it won't matter now because you didn't exercise it when it was still alive so you can warn someone who's still alive 